So, welcome to the first of our Friday wind-up videos. We're going to be bringing these live on the site at midday UK time um, on the Friday of every week. It's a chance to look back at what's happened during our week on the Digital Me MOOC. Um, what a week this has been to start off with. Some tremendous traffic on the introduction forum and even more on the um, activity forum where we've been looking at crowdsourcing. But let's just roll back to the beginning of the week because we started by looking at digital literacies and we looked at the JISC model of digital literacies and the JISC is an organisation in the UK which does an awful lot of work around the use of technology and particularly the technology in the area of learning. Uh, we then looked at critical thinking saw a short video about that and we'll be returning to that later in the course. But crowdsourcing was really the theme of our main activity and we looked at the different types of crowdsourcing and even the ethics of using crowdsourcing as a methodology and finally you all got involved in a crowdsourcing experiment or maybe three crowdsourcing experiments. We looked at planning a trip to London. We looked at cooking on a budget and we looked at what you would take to a desert island. I've got lots of very fond memories of things that I wrote, uh, I, I read rather, um, but I actually want to focus rather more on the process that I used while I was reading the mass of material. Some of the things I found um, I already knew. But it was quite nice to see that other people also knew them and it kind of confirmed my own knowledge. Some of the other things were things I'd forgotten. So it was nice to be reminded of those. That brought, brought them up into my consciousness. There were ideas and bits of information that were communicated and shared which didn't relate to me. I wasn't interested in them. They didn't really quite fit with my own particular um, style or, or, or interests. So I rejected those. They were perfectly and there was some absolutely brand new stuff, um, which I took, uh, I embraced. And uh, there's all sorts of things I'm going to be going to be visiting different places when I go to London, and I'm certainly going to try some of the cooking tips. Whether I ever get to a desert island, who knows? So that was my sifting process. Things I knew that were confirmed, things I'd forgotten that reminded I was reminded of, um, things that were not relevant to me and things which were completely new. Now, in addition to facts, a number of people actually offered us a thinking framework, and I thought that was really valuable. Either a process of what you would do in a particular order, or a series of questions that you might ask yourself um, before you embarked on the task. And I thought those frameworks were also very useful contributions. So, how would you go about sifting the mass of information on that forum. What sense will you make of it? Give some thought to that. Okay, so um, going forward, I managed to catch up with my colleague Paula Shaw earlier in the week. And Paula is an academic manager at the University of Derby. And I've recorded a very short interview where she explains why the university has decided to offer massive open online courses, MOOCs, like this, completely free. So take a look at that video. It should be underneath this one. Um, so watch it later on and see what you think about that. I'm going to wind up now, but the forum associated with the Friday Wind Up is here and available for you to use. So please uh, add your comments, questions, and uh, communications there. I look forward to seeing you active on the course next week.